All right, guys, welcome back. Another video on this Dodge Journey here, 3.6. Six speeds automatic. Same thing as the four speed. On the previous videos, uh, I, I replaced that 20 cooler lines. I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to check your level, add fluid, and what kind of tools you need. Here we go. All right, so I've seen this a lot online in forms, especially on the YouTube videos. This thing right here is just a cap and it's to check your transmission fluid level. You can tell that it's, uh, there's uh, words in here that's saying for dealer use only. After reading forms and watching videos, uh, you could check those level, transmission level fluid by uh, using the engine oil dipstick. Clean it off. That's what you need and a scan tool so that on the scan tool it will tell you what's the temperature of that transmission fluid and we have those so right now I'm just gonna show you how to uh, get a marking on this dipstick so here is the minimum maximum measurement temperature Celsius and Fahrenheit right here and this is the millimeter level so start from here uh, by the look of this, this is just half an inch distance. All right, so when I looked up on this guy's video, uh, see, I don't have the measurement tool, but by the look of his video, he had a mark like this. And I know that on the top, go sideways like that, okay? And I know that he marked the top the maximum in between the s and a there's a safe right there so he put a mark in between the s and a up there and then a mark down here so that's from the dot to, to dot so this is half an inch right there those are the markings for this transmission fluid that you're gonna check so here, I'm gonna show you down here, this marking right here, and then you see how that mark right there? Down here is the cold level, and then up here is the hot. So let's say you add fluid right now. This engine has to be start and running. And when you add the fluid right now, hopefully if I have enough, it'll be right over here when it, cause it's cold. And over time, 15, 20 minutes of running, because the, when the fluid get hot, it expand. So it's going to raise up to here or whatever. But right now, I lost a lot of fluid when I did the transmission cooler line. So we don't know. This vehicle has been having been ran for like a day. So I know this thing has to be running. But I'm just going to check right now just for, just for shit and giggles. I'm just going to check the level of this fluid without running the engine. There you go, it's bottoming it out. And you can tell, because it's not running, see how the level is, fluid is right on this bend right here? That's how high is that level when the engine is not running. So we had to run this engine to, to check the level on the transmission. All right, so we're gonna start the engine and uh, let's see what kind of level we have. All right guys, just started the engine. Let's go check the level right now while it's running. It's gonna be a cold check. All right, see, you can see that it's so bone dry at all. Bone dry. It's just bone dry. So we're gonna add fluid in here. Get that funnel in there. There's the fluid that I got from the dealer, ATF4. So let's uh, add just maybe just a quarter. All right, so we're just gonna add a quarter and check it out again. All right, so after adding a little bit of uh, fluid in there, we're gonna have to uh, cycle the gear, get your foot on the brake pedal, and then just cycle the gear. All right, guys, so we're back in the vehicle. Uh, so it's been running for like two minutes, so we're just gonna cycle the gear while it's running. Press the brake pedal, go reverse. 
neutral drive neutral again when you cy cycle the gear it fills up all those cavities in uh, above bodies of the transmission and all the empty spot fill up with those fluid all right let's go to the front okay, let's check the level up here again all right see it's empty again still empty all right we're just gonna add another quarter of oil in here So after you add oil, make sure to go back to the vehicle again and then cycle the gears back and forth to park neutral drive. All right, so make sure that everything is all filled with that fluid and the cavities of the transmission valves. Here we go, this is the second check. Seems like it's right over here. Just right over here. So we're gonna add a couple ounces. All right, so after you add a couple ounces, cycle the gear again. So every time you keep adding, keep cycling the gear. So make sure to press the brake. So when we get to the cold level here, when we have enough fluid in here in the cold, that's when we can hook up the scan tool and uh, we'll uh, monitor the temperature of the transmission fluid and that's when you get a precise reading of your uh, level of your transmission. Yeah, it's still low guys. I didn't see any mark. This is the second bottle now. Uh, there's only like half a bottle left here. So I dump one whole bottle and half. That's how much this transmission I lost fluid. So if you check, it's been running for like 10 minutes. So if you check, so it's just above, right above the mark. Okay, it's right above the mark on the cold mark. It's about a quarter above the cold mark. So that's good. That's that's what we want. And then we're gonna run this engine till to get to a normal temperature and then we'll uh, check our scan tool. Alright, so let's go inside and let's go check a scan tool. Alright guys, we're back inside. You can see the temperature of the engine is right in the middle now that's probably like the operating temperature let's get this scan tool going all right guys so we're gonna go into the transmission temperature oil temperature in here right there 70.5 Fahrenheit that's how it sets right on there it's on park right now so it's going up so let's go back to the chart here so back in our chart 70 Fahrenheit all right, let's uh, put that dipstick on and uh, let's see what kind of reading we can get on a 70 Fahrenheit temperature. All right, guys. There we go. You can see in between the two marks. Looks like in the middle there, right in between. All right, let's go to our chart. 
So maximum is on the front, on the top, minimum in the bottom. So line up those marks on those two dots, top and bottom. And the mark is right in the middle, oil mark. So right now, our fluid level is eight millimeter, just right on the eight millimeter right here. All right guys, so I got the air filter box bolted in together. It's all ready to go. That bolt right there, all the four square bolts on each side of this box is bolted down. One right there, and then there's two more on the side right on the edge right here that's it so let's go for a drive and i'll come back and we'll let's see what kind of temperature on the transmission we can get and then we'll uh, do a final test checking that port right there for the transmission oil level all right guys i'm gonna take you guys along the drive here i don't know if you can see the temperature right now is 86 fahrenheit so let's go around the block uh, a couple times who knows how long we're gonna take to get this temperature up to uh, maybe like a 90 Fahrenheit or 100. All right, guys, we're back. So temperature is 106 so that's pretty good 106 I mostly did was like stay on the not on drive but on the manual gear the first gear and just keep driving around the block three times around the block to get the temperature hot so 106 right now all right let's go check the level all right, so because with this air filter in the box now, it's gonna be tough for me to uh, get that cover out. Just burn myself. All right, guys, so I got that cover off. Make sure I wear gloves because I just burn myself on those pipe right there. Uh, clean up the oil dipstick and let's dip it inside here. Let's check this level. So 106 Fahrenheit is the temperature that we're gonna be looking at wait till it gets to the bottom all right guys so it looks like we're on the right mark right here i don't know if you can see that we're on the mark on the top mark so so the temperature we have is uh 106 107 so let's go right there right in the middle line it up the level of our fluid it's on a maximum of 26 26 and supposed to be 29 all right right here 26 here I'm gonna pinpoint this with this pick so this is our temperature right here is 107 and my level fluid is right here about 26 and the maximum in here is about 28 or 27 so we're about right here guys and that's good enough to me you know like if you reach to like 180 Fahrenheit it will be the same thing it will be the same thing it just the bar just moves over that it doesn't matter what temperature you're at it will be it's gonna be like a quarter below the max level here so since 28 max i'm on 20 26 25 so this is good this is a fix that's how you check the transmission level on this uh dodge journey 3.6 Make sure uh, clean the oil, engine oil dipstick, and put it back in the uh, engine oil. And I know there's a lot of videos doing this check. Uh, I had to do my own video, trying to go on details and describe as much as possible as I can. So uh, again, guys, thanks for watching, and then uh, see you again on the next video.